Hello and welcome to State Television Company of Western Armenia, the basic news for today. May 24 is the day of the 11th anniversary of the establishment of the National Assembly of Western Armenia. The park in the center of Paris was named after Charles Laznavour. Baku is indignant by the Claude Whistler statement. We are reviewing a number of requests from Armenia. Anton and Blinken, victims of Western Armenia, Hovannes Ghazanchan, Armenian and Armenian heritage. Yerevan was listening to Aznavur. Today is the 11th anniversary of the establishment of the National Assembly of Western Armenia. A declaration on May 24, 2014 was adopted on the formation of the National Assembly of Western Armenia. And on December 16 of the same year, the Central Electoral Committee published these results. The elections of deputies of the National Assembly of Western Armenia took place. In 2014, the law was adopted on the state structure of Western Armenia, the status of deputies of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, and the regulations of the National Assembly of Western Armenia was adopted. With love and gratitude, we informed that the park in the center of Paris was named after Charles Aznavour. The municipality of Paris has named the park in the eighth arrondissement of the capital in the historical center of the city. was named after Charles Aznavour, a French chansonnier of Armenian origin, informed the BFM TV. The ceremony was dedicated to the singer's 100th birthday. Paris Mayor and Hidalgo, the singer's relatives and friends, took part in the event held on Champs Elysee. French President Emmanuel Macron published a note in Armenian on the occasion of Charles Aznavour's 100th birthday. It was as follows. Yesterday, Charles Aznavour was with us, singing about our sorrows and dreams, being born 100 years ago, a legend of the age of tragedy and freedom in France. Armenian and the whole world, he is eternal from now on was said in the French president's post. Baku is upset by Claude Winsel's statement. The other day, the president of the Chamber of Deputies of the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg, Claude Wessler, gave a speech at the National Assembly of Eastern Armenia. The politician demanded Baku to immediately release all prisoners of war. Baku was upset by the statements made in Armenia by the chairman of the Chamber of Deputies of the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg. The parliament of Azerbaijan called them biased and absurd. Baku accused the representatives of Luxembourg of legally allowing the French-style approach to the South Caucasus region. The Parliament of Azerbaijan expressed an opinion that Luxembourg distorts the protest taking place in the region, makes demands to Azerbaijan and disrupts the Armenian-Azerbaijan settlement process. We are reviewing a number of requests from Armenia to determine what more we can do for Armenia, said Anthony Blinken. The United States is reviewing a set of requests from Mr. Armenia to determine what steps Washington can take to support Yerevan. U.S. Secretary of the State Anthony Blinken made such a statement. We are reviewing a number of requests from Mr. Armenia to determine what more we can do to strengthen our support and cooperation with Eastern Armenia, said the U.S. diplomat during the hearings of the Foreign Relations Committee of the House of Representatives, without going into details. At the same time, Blinken reminded that at the beginning of April he had a joint meeting with the head of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, and the Prime Minister of Eastern Armenia, Nikol Pashinyan. According to the head of the Foreign Policy Department, these consultations were to find out what else the USA and the AU can do to support Armenia. And we will move forward in a number of different areas, Blinken promised. The Secretary of State also expressed hope that Baku and Yerevan will sign a peace agreement. Hovannes Ghazanchan was born in 1870 in Edukoya, Tokat, Western Armenia. Sebastian Provis, in 1883-1885, together with some of his friends, he published the handwriter weekly newspaper, Yere Hayrik. At the age of 19, he left for Constantinople to enter law school, and he worked for the newspaper Arevik, Arevalian, Mamul, in Izmir, and Hans, Amsterdam, in Vienna. In 1899, published the work Evdoki, or Armenian Provision Vocabulary, for which in 1901 won the Izmir Prize. 1909 up to 1910 published the three-volume textbook grammar of modern Armenian language. He was the chairman of the Tokat Provincial Assembly and a member of the Educational Board. In 1915, May, he was arrested and brutally killed in June. He is one of the victims of the genocide committed by the Turks against the Armenians. 
Even in the diet of our ancestors, they gave a significant place to food prepared from cereals, well aware of its value. Centuries before our era, people knew about the healing properties and high nutritional value of the sprouted grain and used it in preparing various dishes. One part of food culture are time, form, environment, temporary restrictions on eating and ways of stopping them, as well as other factors. The basis of the latter is the idea of offering food, cereals, meat, dairy products, the purpose of which was to express gratitude to the patronizing forces for a successful harvest or to ask for an upcoming harvest to protect against natural disasters, for example, the long rains or locusts. Accordingly, the culture of traditional dishes has a religious basis and is interconnected with the celebration culture, which is a practical reflection of all that. Harisa Gatnabur and Mata were cooked near churches and were mainly dedicated to the invisible forces patronizing agriculture and animal husbandry. Harisa was in the group grain, cultivation, milk, soup, to ensuring the abundance of the early product, cut to the success of castle breeding matok to the family's invisibility. This is made from grain, symbolizing abundance, were served both at the beginning of the economic year, during the winter-spring transition period, and at the end of the economic year, during the autumn holidays, such as Varintz, Ardaz, Kashali, Harisa, Hosu, etc. During the spring festivals, they were aimed at promoting the fertility of nature. Malt is remembered in the professional literature as the food of great land of Easter and symbolizes the arrival of spring. Atzik was prepared in Ararat, Artsakh, Muz, Mursh, Nor, Bayazet, Shirak, and elsewhere. Based on the combined analysis of field ethnographic materials recorded from SUNIC and data found in existing publications, we propose a point of view according to which malt is not only in the winter-spring transition period at the beginning of the economic year, but also after the autumn harvest, in the period of summing up the economic year. And preparation for the coming year, sowing beginning and concluding the year, is a sacrifice of grain, especially with aimed at the abundance of grain. You can read more details on the website of Western Armenia TV. Yerevan was listening to Aznavur. At the evening, entitled Yerevan is listening to Aznavur, Gor Sujay, Eric Arabejan, Susanna Melkonyan, and Lipari Davetisan performed Aznavur's favorite composition, which tell about love, hopefulness, great respect for women and other human emotions. The artists performed with accompaniment of the State Symphony Orchestra of Armenia. The artistic director and chief conductor was Sergei Sambadzian. The expected guest of the evening was the French pianist Eric Berchaud, who was accompanied by the chansonnier for a year. The concert started with Eric Berchaud's speech. In the evening, it was difficult to move because the cascade was full of fans of the chansonnier, in whose ranks there were many foreigners as well, and as Armenians, which once again speaks about the fact that Aznavur's art is universal and has no borders. This was the most important news for today. I wish you peace and harmony. Goodbye. Oh.